there isn't really a very good definition of life. And the way I approached it in this book was to take five of the great ideas of biology, ideas that um, most scientists would be very happy with agreeing to, that some of them have in fact been around for a number of centuries, and exploring those five ideas, which are the idea of the cell, the idea of the gene, the idea of evolution by natural selection, the idea of understanding life in terms of chemistry, and the fifth idea, understanding life in terms of information. All of those ideas are well accepted. Maybe the last one, life as information, is, uh, is not perhaps as fully accepted as the others. But by exploring those five ideas, explaining where they came from, uh, because that's quite interesting, uh, and then seeing what you could extract from those ideas to get some principles about what life was. And that's the approach I decided to use. Chapter 2. The Cell, Where Life Begins. The cell is really critical for the way I think about life. And, and why is that? 